Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at Hogwarts Legacy on Xbox One. I especially for this video, I got my old VCR Day One 2013 Xbox One back from the grave, and um, yeah, I'm really curious how this game will hold up on yeah on on a what. 10 year old system so let's go check it out first of all let's see how much data this game is on your hdd i can't say ssd it's an hdd and that's only 24.1 gb so i've got the uh, the full version with all the, the 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 stuff going on by the way if you still have an xbox one and you already had the Xbox Series S X version bought digitally, and it's the, the, the deluxe version. The Xbox One version is actually free for you then. So if you still have like kids that, that own a Xbox One or anything, and they want to play Hogwarts Legacy now, they don't have to wait, they don't have to buy it again. They can just play it if you already bought the deluxe edition back when it came out for Xbox Series S and X. I had contact with uh, Warner Brothers games. Sadly, this is not the case with PlayStation 4. So if you bought the PlayStation 5 version of Hogwarts Legacy, even the Deluxe, you still need to buy the PlayStation 4 version separately. It is what it is. I think, yeah, I think Warner Brothers should have done something about that. Um, it's a standalone download. So the Xbox One version is a standalone download. It's not like there is a, uh, there's literally a series version and a Xbox One version. There are two separate games, but they do share the same achievement list. So it's not that you can play the game all over again. It's exactly the same. Um, like I said, it's a, uh, yeah, Gen Durango, Xbox One. Uh, it is slightly uh, better. I, I've played the the one version on my one uh, on my Series X. I must say it does look a little bit better because it's optimized also for um, Xbox One X. But this video, I'm only going to do the most base standard version, the the worst possible version you can get. So yeah, let's uh, start it up. You guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel means a lot for me you're really helping out this channel you can also hit the bell icon i upload almost on a daily basis new games old games updates on games even a little bit of hardware here and there so there's definitely no ssd to be found here <laughs> one eternity later so this is crazy you guys Are we getting there? Will there be? A yes, yes, here we go. Oh my goodness, I'm so used to the SSD. You know, probably by now I was already in the game. Wow, that takes a long time. You know, it is possible to um, put a SSD in your Xbox One. So if you still have an Xbox One, you can actually buy a pretty cheap SSD. And yes, it works. I Actually, before the Xbox Series S and X came out, I used an external SSD for my Xbox One X. And yeah, that was a, a, a difference between light and dark. Or dark and light. It's, it's insane how much difference there was between the two. So, Hogwarts Legacy. On the xbox one so from what i could gather it runs at a yeah reconstructed 720p maybe it goes up to 900p um that in mind the the, the the xbox one wasn't capable of going higher than 1080p so before you say oh it's an xbox one i'm not playing on series s or x so most games on xbox one were around 720p because the Xbox One was actually the, 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 the slower console that generation. Because PlayStation 4 was a little bit faster. And that 
I think Hogwarts Legacy will be a little bit better on PlayStation 4 than it is on Xbox One. But still, they're also going to make this game run on the Nintendo Switch. That would be something I would love to try out because I'm so... But yeah, this is Hogwarts Legacy running on a base Xbox One, the VCR. And I think it's pretty insane to see this game run. Um, there is a, you can cap the frame rate. I would do that definitely. I've played it a little bit without it. And the frame rate is like 35, 40. It's not good. Um, uh, no, don't do it. Uh, chromatic aberration, real camera lens, blah, 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 film grain. Yeah, I've got that stuff all off. So, yeah, if you're going to play this, please, please don't play it with an uncapped frame rate. I even tried it on my um, uh, Xbox Series X with this version. And even there, it's 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 not good. It's, it's, it's not good. <laughs> I'm going to wait for it to become a little bit lighter. Yeah. And I must say, yeah, it definitely is a step back from the Series S and X versions. Not even close. But, you guys, this must be the most gorgeous Xbox One game I've seen thus far. And yes, it's 30 FPS. Of course it's 30 FPS, because this whole generation was 30 FPS. So Xbox One and PlayStation 4 were like the, yeah, I think Gen Gen 8, you can say it's the, the, the 30 FPS generation. Look at this. This is actually quite good. This is not half bad. So if you're still having a um, Xbox One, and this is like the most old version you can get of the xbox one you know this is not even the xbox series of uh, xbox one s or the one x this is like truly the, the 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 day one this is my day one xbox one day one xbox one yeah so let's see if i can get in some fights some of these guys Maybe there. Oh. Yeah, let's do some uh, fast traveling. Let's see what happens. How long it takes. Oh, I thought it was already there. That could be. <laughs> that would be faster than on the series. S and X. You know. Yeah. Are we there yet? You can do it. No, I wouldn't say it's like fast traveling. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Yeah, that, this is definitely a big difference from playing this on a new gen console. Oh my goodness. But it's playable, so if you still own a Xbox One, go for it. It's a gorgeous game. I wasn't expecting this at all. I thought it would be way worse. Can I get in some flights? Where are the bad guys? Chicken! There's probably some pop in here and there. But now I know why they had to optimize these games for 
the Xbox One. They had to... Yeah, it's not even optimized. It's... It's a D-Master. Is that a good way to say it? Ah, here we get something to fight. Yeah, I think that's a good way to describe it. A D-Master. Oh, darn it. Here we go. It's not my fault you're a deadly great spider. This is not a remaster, but it's a demaster. There's still some frame drops, even at 30 FPS. Even at this low resolution. But come Hello, on, sir. we're playing a new gen here? game oh, on a... I'm Joel wow, and this Jesus. is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Different. <laughs> what do you have for sale? Yeah, very cool. I hope to see you again sometime. Let's see what's going on here. What do you have to say? I never thought my rocks loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything Very right? butter. Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for but, Yeah, if they can I run, make this game run on a Xbox One. To this. You know, on I'm actually not that... Ram Rock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attack surprised you. it could run Ram also on, no a, uh, on a on Nintendo Switch. Won't join him. Well, I because the Nintendo like Switch is still pretty capable. Equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Man, does it look washed out. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them... And if you only own a Xbox here. One, Just pass some you, you, I, I think you will, uh, it, it will blow your mind at how good this game looks. To me if I ever lost them, however, slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what... This is a, this is 10 year old hardware. It and not, not even good you. hardware. I wish it had been under... Better you know, these processors they use for the, the, the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. After what Yowch. Ramrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised. They were not the best. Um, I'm also wanting to check out how uh, Hogsmeade looks. I think that's somewhere here. Yeah. Here's Hogsmeade. Let's go to Hogsmeade 2. I'm really curious how Hogsmeade look like. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually really surprised at how well this game runs on the, the fat Xbox One. It's not half bad. It really is not bad at all. This could be way worse. And I think it's a... Yeah. It's really cool from the, the guys at Warner Brothers. That they actually took the time to optimize this game properly. For the... Yeah. Last gen consoles. So they really took their time to... to yeah. Demaster these games properly. It's not like they just put down the, the, the resolution and said, yep, yeah, go with it. And that's something we will see more and more, I think, in the future. Like, D-Masters for um, older no, platforms. Because still a lot of people have Gen 8 consoles. Look at these screen space reflections they are looking good yeah this is really cool of course there's missing some details here and there there's way less people want running around oh how 
did I do that? Here we go. Yeah, there's way less people running around. And uh, also the textures are much less than they were. But all in all, it's not, not bad. I'm not gonna say anything mad, bad about this. I think for a Xbox, for a 10 year old console running this game natively, it's good. Yeah. I've got nothing else to say. Thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope to see you guys soon in another one. <laughs> Bye.